Uh, now, uh, Manchester United have salvaged uh, the season to some extent. They've, uh, Mourinho's had some plenty of stick. There's been trouble with Pogba. Uh, and uh, Saturday's result, I thought they were hungrier, Didi, uh, than Spurs, apart from mm-hmm. the things we've been talking about. But there was a hunger about United. I fancied Tottenham before the match. And when they went 1-0 up, I fancied yeah. them even stronger. I didn't see United getting back into yeah. it, but they did. Yeah, and, um, and it, it probably showed uh, in the game at Wembley what this team uh, would be able to achieve or, 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 or how they can how they can be. I think it showed in a way, yes, they kind of salvaged the season because they probably finished second and, and may win the, um, the FA Cup. Um but at the end of the day, if you, if you look at the style of play, they, they do perform. Um, I, I'm, I'm still disappointed, even if they do win the FA Cup. And I think that shows going 1-0 down in, in such a, on such a big occasion, I think it showed how much character and how much quality there is in that team. Um, for some reason, he doesn't, he doesn't get the best out of these players on a, on a regular basis. And, um, you know, I, I probably still sit on the fence if you ask me whether Mourinho was a success up to now. If you look at the results. Yes, in my opinion, uh, he's not. He's not. John, uh, you have to give it to him uh, and to the players who were on the field, including Pogba, who set up that goal for Sanchez. I thought that was a fantastic goal, John. He had an awful lot to do, even after a very good cross from Pogba. But there was a spirit about them that surprised me. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, I, I don't think they've been lacking spirit um, during the season. I think they've been lacking ability. They haven't had a settled team. You've had the Pogba situation. Uh, you know, there's a lot going on there. I mean, Mourinho is, is a proven manager, as we know. I mean, he no, he's not, he's not, a, he's not an idiot. I mean, he behaves like an idiot at times, unfortunately. But I think as man, as, as football goes, I think he's he's top class. And I don't think he quite has the players yeah. really to do what needs to be done. And the Pogba situation hasn't gone away. It's, 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 it's been put to bed for a, for a little while. But Pogba was brought to be the complete midfield player, Eamon, and we've spoken about this in the past. He's not the complete midfield player. He's got talent okay, as he showed on Saturday. Uh, but he's not the complete midfield player. And I think until they get somebody in the middle of the field that can knit things together, they will be inconsistent in relation to... Uh, you know yeah. the champions and, and, and winning trophies. So I think they've still got a bit to do, but uh, I think it can be done. I think it would, it would a good sign in, in midfield player in the summer. I mean, I think you could knit it together, and they certainly would be bigger challenges to Manchester City next year than they were this year. Okay.